Okay guys, so today we are going to discuss about an algorithm where we have to find out the second largest element in an array. Okay, so what we can do? We are doing like this. I have an array of the elements like this and then what I am doing first, in the first element, the, I have taken two variables, first and second. In the first element, what I am doing, I am just putting the first element of the array and in the second element, I am just putting the second element of the array. But I am putting these two values in such a manner that n first will always be greater than n second, right? So here what I have written, so this is the logic which will follow. So if n array, if array zero, if the element at the zeroth index is greater than the element at the first index, then what will happen? I will just put the element at the zeroth index in the n first and element at the first index in the n second. But if this is not the case, then I will do the reverse. Right? So I hope this one is clear to you. I am just putting these two elements in n first and n second, but just I am taking care of the fact like n first should contain an element which should contain that value which is greater than n second. Right? And these two values are these two, the first two elements of the array. Okay? And after that, I have started an uh, iteration from index 2 to index 9. Right? So from this index to this index, I am iterating this. So first, well, what will happen? N first will contain 11, sorry, 12, and N second is containing 11, right? Now, uh, what I'm doing, I'm just comparing this element. I have started from here, from the index 2, and now what I'm doing, I'm just comparing. If my element at this particular index, which I am right, uh, which I am in right now, so, what will what, what I will do, I will just compare this element with the n first and n second. If my element is greater than n first, then I will follow this logic. And if my element is greater than n second, then I will follow this logic. But my element 4 is not greater than any of these, so I will just move to the next element which is the 10. And again, 10 is neither greater than n first nor it is greater than n second, so what will happen? I will simply move ahead to 35, right? Because here I have not written any logic for anything which is smaller than these two values. So now what I will do, I will reach to the next element which is 35 and now I will compare 35 with the n first. What will happen? n first is smaller than 35. So I will fall in this condition. My control will fall in this condition. So what will happen? I will simply store the n first value in a temporary variable. In the n temp, what I am doing, I am storing 35. No, I am storing 12 and I am replacing the value of n first with 35. And then what I am doing, since my n first which was 12, earlier it was 12, my n first was 12. So this was already greater than n second. But now this time n first has become 35. So obviously n second should be replaced with this n temp value which was earlier the value of n first. So now, now n second will become 12, right? So this will be the situation now. Now I will reach to 3. Again, 3 is neither greater than n first nor n second. So it will not do anything. Again, we are going to 8. It will not do anything. Again, we are going to 1. It is not greater than anything. 7, not greater than anyone. 34. Now 34 is here. 34 is greater than n second. So my control will fall here n second is equal to array n index. So I just need to replace n second with 34. And I don't know, uh, sorry, I don't need to do anything which I have done in n first because n second is already smaller than n first and our value at the current index was greater than n second only. So we are fine now. So n first and n second now contains two values. The value at the n second is the second largest element in this array, right? So this is how your algorithm will work and uh, you can test your algorithm, this algorithm with putting your value, the second largest value at any position in your array and you will see that it will return the correct result. So let's see if it is returning correct result for this case or not. This is the extreme case where uh, this is one of the boundary condition, not the extreme case, the boundary condition case where my second largest element is at the end of the array. So let's see if it is returning correct result or not. It is returning correct result, 34. 
now what I need to do, I need to put my 34 here at the beginning and I need to put 11 here and now let's see what happens. So again 34 is there. Okay, so now what I will do, I will put 34 at the right position which is the second position and 12 here. Now let's see what happens. So this time as well, what should happen? Yeah, 34 is there. Now what I will do, I will just replace this one with 34. So 34 I am putting here. So with this all the test cases will be executed which I should execute. Okay. So boundary conditions, value at the correct position already and value at any position in the array that all has been tested and this algorithm is working fine. So you can go with this algorithm within a single iteration. You can just find out your second largest element. But what will happen if someone will ask you that you have to find out the seventh largest element?